Hi, in this quick video, I want to show you how you can make your maps much more effective in MWater and Solstice by using our map hoverovers. So let's just get started, jump into a dashboard or a map, and create a new one. And hoverovers are just fantastic at making maps much more interactive. So if I have a map widget here, and let's just um, add a layer, let's say, of water points. Um, instead of the whole world, let me just filter it to a certain location, for example's sake. Now, for a long time, we've already had custom pop-ups. So if you click a site or a survey and you have access to the data underneath, you will see the default data. But how do you know which of these many dots actually points to the site or piece of data that you're interested in? Well, that's where these hoverovers become very, very handy you can click this customize hover over for each point layer that you have and add up to three items for that hover over. So for example, the name, ID, and type, and then we specify the values. So what should these fields that we labeled name, ID, and type be? Well, the name should be the water point name, the ID should be the unique ID in MWater and Solstice, and the type should just be the JMP definition type, for example. So what does that do? Now it means that if I hover my mouse over any point on this layer, you can see that on the top right of the map, I get this immediate pop-up telling me something valuable about what I'm hovering over. So I can then find, seek and find the point I'm looking for. Aha, it is in one Senzi spring that I'm looking for. And then I can click it, get more information and so on. So this is a very versatile, a very versatile piece of uh, a feature which you can use for any fields as you see, as well as expressions. So another neat trick just to round this off, what you can also do is calculate live expressions. For example, if you wanted to know how many people can be estimated to live within a kilometer of your water point, we can do that. We can remove this type value from values and go to formulas instead. And you'll see there's a lot of formulas you can use as in many places in MWater. I will choose population within. This is a formula that allows us to tap into the population density data that we have from um, public sources in MWater. And I will configure it to say, pick a location. I will pick the GPS location of my water point. So that's the central point. And then I will want to calculate how many people we can estimate to live within a certain distance in meters. So if it's a kilometer, I will just enter a thousand here. So population within thousand meters of the location that these water points has been mapped. So now we have a calculation that will happen. So if I hover over any point here, I see that for this water point, the primary school water tank, there are about 408 people living within one kilometer. So remember, I can add the population density as a visual layer like so. See, there are households that have been calculated from satellite imagery near there. And to make it even more visual, I could add circles, a circle layer centered on water points for a thousand. So when, when I hover over here, over this point, 268 people, it means it's counting all of those blue dots there, and there seem to be 268 of them. And same for these points as well. So that's just a couple of examples of how you can make great use of custom hoverovers in your maps to make them more interactive and more powerful for your use cases. So hopefully that was useful. Let us know if you have any feedback. Thanks for watching and have a great day.